In this video, we'll take a look at working with photographic design elements and incorporating them into our vector designs and our logo designs and things like that that we create for our clients. Now, interestingly, we're going to step totally outside of the world of vector. And we're working with the Color Factory plugin from Advanced T-Shirts. Here you can see I've got a design that's a vector design, Surge Electrical Services, and it's just got kind of like an electrical line with a plug on it. Very basic vector. Still kind of nice look with the text effect. But yet we can go into an entirely different realm and offer our clients something that just has more pop and is more dynamic than working with basic vector and still mixing that with the vector. Here I have a lightning bolt bitmap. And that's all it is, just a lightning. I can take that because I'm going to be going on a darker garment, go to my color factory and dress this design up very quickly and easily with some monochrome and get a really incredible look. Now I'm not going to be going on a dark, so I'm going to go duotone with color invert on that and I'll process that. Simple and easy. And that's ready to go. Now I get my objects up here, two selected, and that is my lightning strike or bolt setup. I won't need the image anymore, so I can go ahead and delete that. Now these two, I can take, well, we've got a red on top for our color, and I've got that selected, that's a red. I'm gonna change that to a yellow, and you can see the effect. I'm gonna hold down Shift and Alt, select both of these, right click, I'm gonna go Order, Go down here to in front of and click on the shirt and send that to the back. Resize that to go behind the logo. See right about there, there's the X in the center I can use to move that right there. And I've got a far more dynamic design than just working with vector. Then I'm gonna take the color monochrome object that the color factory created. And I'll just select that, left click, hold down, right click one time to duplicate that, bring that up above. Then I'm gonna right click, hold down, and bring that over my search text. Then I'm gonna release that and select power clip inside. Now look at that effect I got in there. Now I'm gonna come over here to select power clip contents, and I can see the X right here. And I'll bring this over and line it up with what would be the lightning strike, and you can see that effect in the text. Now I can change these colors, do different colors, do everything, but here I've got just a basic, what would be, you know, if you didn't print the black, you just have white and yellow for your graphic and get that effect. And you can see a big difference between how that's gonna pop and make an impression on that t-shirt compared to what would be just the vector art. Very quick, very easily done in minutes working with the color factory and what can be done with it and using design elements. I know we've gone through many videos relating to images and photographs and working with those, but we can also use the color factory to create amazing monochrome design elements that we can use in our graphic design, such as the lightning bolt and many other things as assets for our graphic design based on monochrome, which allows us to step entirely outside of the world of vector and into some really crazy effects and looks and things like that, that really put us above our competition who might be working with just vector and not really have access to this type of design work, working with the monochromes and the dude tones, etc. So just a quick tutorial on how to work with images and converting them into design assets and then incorporating those into your vector work and your vector designs to get really cool looks that are totally break away from the world of vector but yet keep your color counts down so you're still two or three colors on the press and even if you're doing sublimation and other things these effects will still work just fine so we'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video